Right, so the next thing I would like to show you is how to make um, these lovely little pansies. There you go. And I already um, said that they're not actually needle felted. Um, what you need for making the pansies, uh, what you get in the box is a piece of felt. So you don't have to worry about that. There's some more here and I'm going to go small now so that you can see um, close up what I'm up to. So here are the different, um, you can make them tiny, tiny. I challenge you how tiny you can go with them. I found it really, I find it really hard to make things small. So for me, that was a bigger struggle. But you get um, a 10 by 10 centimeter felt piece, which looks as big as that. And you can get quite a lot of these tiny, if you imagine you use maybe sort of um, probably one, two, three, four, you can get five and then another one. If you, you could get six of these tiny um, little pansies out of there, um, or you could get um, bigger ones. Um, we have actually got three sizes in the instructions. There is a template in there, down there, that you can use to make your fairy um, pansies in, in, the, in either of those sizes. Um, or you can just make up your own size. Now I've made so many of these that I'm not even going to use the template. But what you do at home is you use your template and you're going to cut um, um, around it and then you um, lay it onto the wool and either cut around it freehand or you draw around the template, whatever suits you. Now I'm just going to fold the felt because like I said, I've done this so often and the way that I do it, and maybe this is also the way you want to do it in the future, I'm going to have three same size squares um, here. So there's number one, number two and three, and they're on top of each other. And I know that um, I need to cut three of the same petals, which are a little bit, they're a little bit like a heart shape without the dint, um, the dent at the top. So that's all I'm going to, I've cut so many of these that I can actually cut them freehand now and I'm sure you can get there as well. But if you can't, you will your template. So I'm just going to go round. I'm cutting three at the same time because I'm lazy when it comes to things like that. So I've made um, a, a shape here that's now still connected here at the bottom. So I'm going to cut that open and they're sort of pretty much the same size and shape now. That's my three identical petals. And now I've got to make a third that is um, a figure of eight. And to do this, what am I doing? Stephanie, stop prattling around. Here we go. So because I've done this before as well, I'm, I'm folding one in half. So this is one strip of the 10 centimeters that I've used now. And I'm um, cutting just um, a circle out that's still connected to the center bit here. And as soon as I open this up, I've made a what I call a figure of eight. So now these are these are the only four shapes that I need to make one of these pansies. And now the fun bit starts. So I'm going to um, I need a piece of paper because I don't want to draw on. Okay, I'm going to draw on on this piece of paper here now. Put this out of the way. So let's bring these in again so you can see where I'm heading. So all you need is now I love sharpies, but you might have just ordinary felt pens at home. All you need is a purple, a pink, and a yellow. That's all you need. Um, you could even get away just with um, with one purple, but you do need a yellow definitely. So, and what you do is you take your you take two of the petals are the same are identical. So these are being colored in the same way, and it tells you on the instructions of how to color them in step by step. And if you don't believe me, I'll show you. Oh no, that's the wrong. I've got so many instructions. Oh, they're down here. So you start. Um, in fact, I've started somewhere else entirely. So I'll, I'll go with this. Um, I use one of these petals and um, and the figure eight first, and they're going to be colored in yellow. And what you do is you leave the edges slightly um, white, so you don't need to color it in too precisely. In fact, it looks really nice if you make um, a less perfect job because. Um, this sort of the, the, the color runs into the white, but doesn't it, you don't want to line basically, that's what I'm saying. So these are uh, done for now. And then you take um, your pink or your purple, you can pick or choose. I'm just reminding myself what color that is. That's quite a light. I've got another pink here. 
Um, let's use that. And then you go into the yellow, but not all the way, just just um, so that you let the, the, wool, uh, the color run into there, like that. So you've colored you've colored these in now, and then you use that um, that same one and color this bit in entirely. Yeah, do the same on here. And so the idea is that you use the lighter pink first, and then you use the darker purple to go into the center a little bit more. So the colors they do they do vary. What you end up with is um, colored in fingers. That that's what keeps happening to me. So now you have got um, two identical ones, um, and then um, a set of, um, that are very similar as well. And so now you do need a tiny, tiny, tiniest amount of felting wool. Um, uh, but first of all, you arrange the colors, um, the petals of the pansy as follows. So you're using, you're laying the two identical um, shapes. Oops up as it, almost like one covers the other one entirely and then you lay the figure eight as i call the figure eight on top and then you lay that one um so if i press this bit here now that will make sure that all of the colors are co connected now you can either just use a tiny bit of black or you can use that black and mix it in with a tiny little bit of that fairy um purple um and you 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 um, sort of give it a pull it exactly like you did um, like I showed you earlier with a fawn pull it apart I'm not going to use all of this is way too much there and all you're going to do is just put it in the center very it's, it's such a, um, a um, yeah it's just a little amount and all you're doing is just stabbing that black into the center of that fairy sorry not in the center of the fairy into the center of the pansy so what you're doing is you're actually felting this together now. I'll just add a little bit more, but you're also giving it a center, a black center for that. I only seem to have very fine felting needles. Use a medium needle for this. What is rattling when I do this? Oh, I think it's the springs on the... If you can hear something weird, that's not me creaking. That's the spring on one of the extension arms. Um, I don't know why it should be rattling. Why is it rattling? Okay, no idea. Anyway, I'm done. So um, now you've got um, a center in there. The petals have been joined together. All the wools come out on the other side. And all you need to do now is add a tiny, tiniest amount of, of even tinier, of yellow into the center um, for the, for the uh, little pansy. And then um, basically you're done and the challenge is how small can you go um because yeah i found that really challenging i but i am big i'm better with bigger and there you go you've got your uh, perfect little pansy nobody will ever guess that you've cheated and used um some felt tip pens like i say it doesn't have to be a sharpie you can use any kind of felt tip pens all you need to make sure is that you've got um two types of pink or purple or purple and pink and then just yellow and that way you make um, a really really authentic looking um, pansy and come on somebody tell me I'm not completely crazy that this is actually amazing so um, that's your your pansy um, uh, tutorial for the pansy flower fairy with a tiny little bit of cheating so hope, hope that's okay